I'm Dr. William Pollock. This video is about treating pain in children with magnetic field therapy, not drugs. Children can suffer from chronic pain like adults. There are many different causes. Injuries, hyperflexible joints, inflammation, stomach pains, bone disorders, complex regional pain syndrome or RSD, migraines, concussions, sickle cell disease, fibromyalgia or neuropathy. Sometimes children have pain amplification syndrome or AMPS. The pain in children can be handled with safe treatments like PEMFs. Not only can PEMFs treat the source of the pain, but also the perception of the pain. Since children are developing physically, emotionally, and behaviorally, treatments need to be safe. Also, the brain and nervous system are still developing. Because of the risk of addiction and harmful neurological or con uh, cognitive effects, Opioids should almost never be used in children. Other drugs can also cause negative side effects, such as sleepiness, tiredness, constipation, and abdominal pain. Avoiding drugs is especially important for pain for which there is no obvious cause, such as an injury. Sometimes over-the-counter pain medications can be used when the pain is sudden or acute in onset, such as an injury, and can be expected to be self-limited. The use of PEMFs is especially important in pain that doesn't resolve after several days to a couple of weeks. After that, a longer term solution like magnetic field therapy is best. PEMFs not only can help with the pain where it is felt, such as a knee, a hip, or a belly, but can also be used to help to break the cycle of the, the brain's reaction to the pain. The brain's reaction to pain can lead to chronic perception of pain even though the original problem is gone. This is called centralization of pain. Portable, Battery-operated PEMF systems can not only relieve pain locally, but can also treat the brain or the nervous system to offload any nervous tissue memory of the perception of the pain. PEMFs, even in growing brain, brains, have been found to be safe, tolerable, non-addicting, and most importantly, can heal the tissues causing the pain. Children respond exceptionally well to PEMFs. In fact, one study found that the brains of animal newborns exposed to even high intensity magnetic fields did not show any evidence of harm and in fact showed increased cerebral cortex size. This is usually a positive sign as opposed to shrinkage of the brain or the cortex. Therefore, because children are vulnerable to the negative effects of medications and PEMFs are so safe, PEMFs should be the first line of treatment in children with chronic pain. Thank you.